In this short demonstration we want to show the typical workflow using CapLabel S3 for creating a label and then using later UPC OA tool, UPC Expert to control uh, the label printout and the content of the label. So in the first step we have already created a label in CapLabel S3. In the next step we will send this label to the printer's memory. And now we switch to our UPCUA expert tool. Um, I already choose some stuff that we can uh, use for this label um, in the data access view. These are items and objects that I have chosen from the left side. You can put them from left to right to use them. Um, short explanation what we have here. These are the output signal of the I.O. interface uh, behind of the squicks. It's job ready showing that the job is loaded. Feed on shows that the printer motor is moving. Ready shows that the printer itself is ready. And the peel position shows that the printer has moved the label forward to the peel position because we are working in the, in the peel mode right now in the label. SCAPS shows the, the status of the printer and uh, the labels to print shows the amount of labels to print. So the first step that we need to do in UP, UPC UA is to start uh, or load a label. Uh, we can do it using this call. Um, now we need to type in the file name th that we want to load from the internal file flash system. Now we have a uh, label loaded, we can check if it's really true. So uh, we re-browse these objects and we get a new object tree that's current label. And in current label you see the different variables that we already created into the label. So for example if you want to change the text field number two, we select it on, the, on this side and on the right side you get the attributes of this object. Um, and here is a value field. And now we can key in a new value. Once we did this, we press return and send the information to the printer. Um, in the log file we see some uh, information. If there was a, an error while communication between the printer, we would see it here. So no error there. The next step is then to uh, print the label. Then we click on this uh, call method right mouse button, we call it amount of labels to print and now we got the label that we can remove. Once we did this we need to acknowledge that we have removed the label. That's the next step that we will do and we use for this the call trigger input. Same thing, right mouse button, call function and here we can choose different uh, I.O. triggers. In this case we choose label remove because we removed already the label and then we have the next label. And with the last call we acknowledge the remove of the last label so the printer goes back to the initial print position. We also have implemented other cool stuff into the UPC UI functionality of the printer. For example we can download the actual print image out of the printer. For this we use the call for the bitmap, same procedure, we use the call, then we receive the uh, image that we can save uh, onto the PC. And now we can use the explorer to get and view the image. And now we see here the label that we previously tried to print with uh, the changes. Another nice thing that you can do with a printer is to control all the setup parameters of the printer's display using UPC UA. For this we can for example choose the um, print speed. Uh, in this case we use the setup object and uh, go downwards until we see the speed. Uh, 
And we have here uh, the, the printing object. In the printing object, we see the print speed. And now we can change the value here. For example, 50 millimeters per second. Uh, now we check it if the change was made into the printer setup. Um, and we see print speed is uh, 50 millimeters per second. And as you can see, we have a lot of objects here and, and, and a lot of stuff was already implemented. We can check, uh, for example, uh, for the firmware revisions of the printhead. Uh, we have here some statistics information uh, on the running time, for example. This is the running time of the printer. The amount of meters printed in thermal direct mode and the amount of meters printed in thermal transfer mode. Uh, so there's a lot of information that you can use for uh, maintenance, uh, for example. Um, all the uh, security stuff can be changed. Um, we can look for the, the, the different interfaces that are implemented. We can change the IP address. We can nearly control all the setup, all the functionality of the uh, of the printer using UPC UI uh, right now. So as you can see, we, we, we are far uh, gone with this functionality and uh, we just wait for your customer to, uh, to play with it and, and, and to, to implement it in your factory.